We begin tonight with breaking news. An iconic bar and restaurant in North Fargo goes up in flames. The Bison Turf near the NDSU campus has been a popular destination for years. Now it's attracting a crowd for a much different reason. Today, a group of people watched as heavy smoke and flames consumed the building. Crews are still on the scene, clearing the area. Valley News Team's Ashley Bishop was the first reporter on scene this afternoon, and she joins us live. Ashley, what can you tell us? Andrea, what I can tell you right now is they are tearing this building down to its studs. If you look behind me, you can see fire uh, crews are currently working on taking off parts of the roof, and you can see the studs on the side of the building, and they're tearing down the walls, trying to eliminate any flames that may still be in there. Light smoke is still coming from the building at this hour of a fire that took place just flames started shooting up just after 2:15. Now fire crews did tell me they expect to be here most of the evening watching for hot spots and extinguishing the flame. Now here's what we know happened. Again, it started after 2:15. They don't know exactly what caused it, but I did get a chance to speak with the owner who said he was nearby at the nearby intersection when he saw the fire start. I saw the exhaust fan start smoking. And then I saw flames lap out of the side of it, and I thought, damn. Heavy smoke filled the surrounding area, and flames shot outside of the building. The Fargo Fire Department used a ladder truck to try to contain the flames. We shut the restaurant down three hours ago with that smell, because we didn't know what it was. Sabo says he noticed a hot smell earlier in the day. His electrician was there early this morning, and an appliance person was there when the fire broke out. The restaurant had only four employees inside when the fire started, and they quickly escaped with no injuries. The smoke and flames drew many people to the scene. The flames started coming up, so we pulled over in the parking lot, and about a minute, minute and a half into it, all of a sudden you heard a small explosion, but a, an okay explosion, you know, to make a big boom. There was an explosion, and Sabo said he thinks that was the gas lines. Fargo Fire says they are in the early stages of investigating. I felt the heat as the flames come, came out of the roof. I felt the heat and everything. We seen a very small amount of smoke coming out the corner of the building, and the next thing we knew, it was just totally engulfed in flames. Brad Mulder was driving by with his dad and had to stop to see this iconic building. And that's a that's a landmark for the Bisons and this town. And now, as for what exactly caused this, the Fargo Fire Department says that that's going to take some investigating. Now, to let you know how big this fire is and how many crews actually responded, we actually have more head fire department here now helping to give the crews some rest while more crews go in and take care of the fire. Now, I was also just before we went on air told by EVAC here they have much of the university from 12th Street up to 14th Street down to one lane, and there is major backup. So they're advising people to not take this area or avoid this part of university if you can. Now I did get a chance like I said to speak with the owner and he did tell me to let you people know that there's that he does plan to rebuild his iconic building and that if he can recover the tables in there that have the carved names on them or anything that he can recover he'll try to incorporate that into the new bison turf. In North Fargo, Ashley Bishop, Valley News Live. All right thank you so much Ashley and coming up tonight on Valley News Live at 6 our hot and muggy weather was a factor for firefighters this afternoon, as you heard Ashley allude to. Valley News Team's Bradford Eric looks at how crews battled the blaze and the heat.